I'm Liam, and this was my gap year. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of My Gap Year. In this week's episode, we leave the urban landscapes of Panama City and return to Costa Rica and stay in the coastal Guanacaste province to gain a greater connection with our oceans. To do this, we learn from an organization called Connect Ocean, which focuses on involving the local community in projects revolving around marine life and ocean conservation. In these clips, we were participating in an ocean safety course put together by Connect Ocean for the kids in the community. The idea is that by helping out the community in simple ways, such as teaching the kids to swim or helping them learn about ocean safety, that this will foster an interest in the ocean with that community and will lead them to take steps towards conserving it. Another way Connect Ocean strives to help out these coastal communities is by educating the local fishermen on sustainable methods of fishing. We actually got the opportunity to go out on a fishing trip with these local fishermen and see how they work day to day. Here we are, we're about to go fishing in the ocean and I just took a bunch of seasickness pills and yeah, I think it'll be really fun. We're going out with local fishermen and doing like hand line fishing. One of the most spectacular creatures I've seen in my life thus far would have to be this manta ray. After we went out fishing, we went back to shore and used the same fish we caught to make fresh food. We're making a tiradito, which is raw fish with a lot of things on top to increase the flavor of the fish. And we're gonna do a 
bite of Costa Rican ceviche with the traditional Costa Rican ingredients that is going to be cooked on lime over there. After going out and fishing with the local fishermen, we got to further strengthen our connection with the ocean by taking the Paddy Open Water Scuba course and catching a glimpse at what the underwater world has to offer. In this course, we learned all about the theory behind scuba diving and how it works, and then we tested our skills in the swimming pool to see what we had learned. Once we had done all the necessary exercises in the pool, we got to move out to the ocean to do our first open water dives. crazy adrenaline rush after I jumped into the ocean. If you listen closely, you can hear my heart beating. At the beginning of our ocean dives, we had to repeat the same exercises we had done in the pool. This included filling our masks with water and then draining them, removing our breathing regulators from our mouths, sharing air with each other in case of an emergency, and fine-tuning our buoyancy, which allows us to glide effortlessly underwater. After these exercises were finished, we got to explore the landscapes underwater. Underwater, I felt like an astronaut, weightless in space.
After our time scuba diving in Guanacaste, we got the opportunity to visit a local school and help them clean up their campus. We also donated food to their kitchen and played a fun game of soccer with all the kids. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next week's episode where we head up into the cloud forests of Monteverde.